All right, what we're going to do now is a complete workflow using the rotor brush from scratch. And then we're going to go ahead and refine it in the second part. So let's go ahead and make believe we're going to take this footage, do a quick color correction, and then apply our rotor brush. So open up the movie called kitchen.mov inside your work files folder. And as you can see, this is a picture of my cat Dash. And the image was taken with a very low budget camera. And the colors are horrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some very quick auto adjustments. Sometimes you want to spend the time to do color correction properly. And sometimes you want to just get it done. So we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, and we're going to choose Auto Color. And you can see the difference right away. Much more contrast, much more vivid. Let me go ahead and undo that to show you the difference. Undo, and we'll go ahead and reapply. I'm going to go back here again, and we're going to go to Color Correction and Auto Contrast to help with that contrast a little bit, get some of the shadows a little darker, and we're going to go to Color Correction again and Auto Levels, just to make sure we have everything the way we want it. Now this is pretty important, especially when we're doing uh, a roto, because before, let me go ahead and turn these off in the Effects and Controls, there really isn't enough contrast for the tool to work properly. Now it could do a good job, but I find that changing the contrast will help the tool lock on to details better. So I'm going to put these back on. Now that we've done this, let's go ahead now and double click on the kitchen.mov layer. And don't forget we have to do this to open it in its own workspace or in its own layer. And now we can go ahead and apply our rotor brush. So go ahead and choose your brush and just do a quick outline of Dash. And don't worry, he's not as fast as his name, so chances are good he'll just stand there as we trace over him like so. And as you can see, the brush really did see a lot of contrast here, but it did still mess up a little bit. And that's where the whole refinement part comes in handy. Let's go ahead and start off by using the easiest method, the Alt or Option key to get rid of things we don't want. So I'm going to hold it down, and my cursor will turn red. I let go it's green. I'll go ahead and just brush like that, generally in the area that the tool has grabbed too much of. And as you can see, it's great. It's so much faster than doing it the old fashioned way, the way with tears involved. All right, that looks pretty good to me. All right, so now we have a roto on our cat. And I'm going to continue to clean this up a little bit. Don't forget, let go of that button if you need to go the opposite direction. So if you go like this and you go too far, let go and simply do another stroke like so and clean that up. 